Okay. Uh, and I think I have to switch accounts. So good morning, everyone. Uh, am I audible? Okay, great. Okay, so I think the recording, okay, the recording has started. So uh, let's start with uh, the presentation. So let's start with the last week's presentation. So who wants to go first? Abraham, uh, you can go. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Yes, the, I mean, uh, yesterday. Yeah. For uh, for the previous challenge, I I I wasn't able to complete the task uh, on on time uh, due to some personal issues uh, yeah, yesterday i i tried to do my best i think till about uh, 2 a.m so i'm i'm going uh, to uh, to present uh, my, my slide now uh, let me share my screen Can, can you see my screen? Okay. Um, okay, so uh, the business objective for, for this, uh, for, for the previous uh, week challenge was to, to make a prediction for uh, for the finance uh, team uh, to to help them to plan better and to make better decision and to optimize their 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 process. Uh, the data we have uh, given is uh, we uh, we get three three datas. Uh, the one is about uh, different information about uh, the stores. And uh, there was a training data about uh, one million entries with uh, nine columns, and or also a uh, test uh, data also is given uh, about uh, forty-one thousand entries. Uh, so this uh, these are the what I did is I try to categorize the data into a numerical and categorical columns. I have also identified the date column for each. Uh, and no, this is the, the range for uh, this is uh, the range of the data uh, between 2003 and uh, 2015. Uh, I tried I try to do basic uh, ED analysis on the on the given data. Uh, I try to. Um, analyze the distribution between the distribution of promotion as it's suggested on the challenge document i try to analyze the, the distribution between a promotion on uh, training and test data as you see here uh, the, there are the distribution is uh, the same which is uh, good uh, and this uh, these are the sales on uh, on the state holidays zero represent uh, none so this means most most sales uh, are hap happening uh, on uh, non holiday days uh, and uh, yeah uh, this are uh, this is school holidays and uh, this is a seasonal uh, purchase behavior on uh, detected from the data so as uh, you see from here, uh, near, near around the month uh, January, there was a spike in uh, sales. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is due to uh, New Year, uh, New Year uh, or something. Uh, there was a spike uh, noticed from uh, from this, and also a positive cor correlation between. Uh, uh, 
uh, customer in the sales uh, is detected yeah that is actually it makes common sense because if there is no cu customer there is no sales so as you see here it's uh, a big uh, big correlation was detected between sales and uh, customers uh, so uh, here uh, here is uh, i try to analyze the promo effect on sales so uh, as you see here when there is a promotion uh, the number of sales go up so which is also expected uh, so this is uh, i think all about uh, the the eda analysis i have performed uh, so on uh, on on the task two, I try to build uh, a model uh, using uh, uh, a scale learn uh, library. I I tried uh, linear regression and uh, random forest uh, random forest regressor uh, models, and I get uh, I I tried them and uh, I I evaluated uh, their performance. Uh, this is their root mean square uh, error. As you see here, the uh, the linear regression uh, has a high high amount of error. Uh, so this uh, random forest compared to the linear regressor is uh, is better. So uh, uh, this this uh, number is uh, interpreted as the, the prediction the prediction we get from these models can uh, can be uh, plus or minus uh, the sales value can, can be up or uh, or low by this amount uh, by this amount uh, so i i choose the the root mean square error because it's it's a standard for uh, regression uh, problem and uh, the unit indicates uh, the, the sales value since we are pre predicting the, the sales for the for the future uh, then I, I I did uh, a future uh, analysis after after building the models for for random forest uh, so as you see the open open uh, column and from the from the data sets has high impact because if the store is closed there is no uh, sales which is, which also makes sense so here the open uh, column has high high important uh, feature again uh, then the, the second is competition distance if that also affects also the, the store type uh, promo and uh, competition uh, open open uh, date uh then uh then i i did uh, uh i did uh, uh, i built a lstm model uh, using deep uh, deep learning i i tried uh, five uh, reports and i get uh, this error i i maybe i i don't have time uh, i don't get time to experiment more with these uh, numbers with this epoch if i maybe increase these numbers and do some other maybe configuration maybe i i i will i will get better uh, i can make the the model better but for now since i don't get time and also if i increase these numbers of the epoch uh the competition time is too long so that's why i use only five so i get uh, this so uh for uh, for the future work a front end uh, a front end should be developed uh, so that the fine the finance uh, team should easily interact with this uh with this uh, pr prediction models uh i think yeah that's uh that's it uh, from me. Uh, if you have a question, you can ask. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Abraham. Uh, that was a good presentation. Uh, so, uh, did you manage to uh, have a prediction? Uh, did you manage to submit it? As uh, we have discussed, or 
So where did the so you cal calculated the error, right? Yes, yes, I have calculated the error. So uh, which data do you use? Like you had the train in the test data. So by using the train, you split it into training test and use a test, right? Yeah, yeah. I I have uh, a data for for evaluating the models. I I use uh, I I split the data uh, and uh, I use some of the data for uh, for training and uh, I use some of the, the data for evaluating the model. Okay. So where is the output? So where is the prediction? uh i i i did uh, after i serialized uh, the the model i i uh, i use uh, the test uh, data data set to to do the to do the prediction the actual prediction in uh, in a code but i didn't uh, include it uh, here if if that's you are asking okay okay uh yeah, so uh, when you selected the models, I think you already used two mo models, is that right? Yeah. The linear yeah. and the random forest, why yeah. not the uh, XGB? I don't, I didn't get enough time because training those models took too much time. Uh, so uh, that's why I, I didn't add more uh, models due to, due to the time. Okay, okay. okay. So maybe you can just submit your um, like prediction that you did, uh, and we we can see how good it is. Okay. I think we have discussed this on uh, Tuesday last week. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Uh, maybe already you heard it has another prediction. Yeah. Am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. So Abraham, it was a nice presentation, and yeah, it's uh, maybe we're not able to finish the project and things. That's okay. So let me get back to the let me back to the I think to the H team or something. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No, let's get back to this thing on the slide. Uh, oh, oh. To the uh, part yeah, where you've done the long short term memory prediction. All right. All right. Um, here? Yes. Uh, so here, uh, you say that you've just used five epochs, which is good. Yeah. Maybe yeah. how many layers of prediction you've used? And uh, I haven't heard you when you maybe you have missed you saying about thinking about this line. But what is RM missing? What does it stand for? Uh, a, re a recurrent uh, neural network. Uh, so I use okay. uh, yeah, obviously re recurrent uh, neural network and uh, f from that category i, I use the uh, lstm as you 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 explained it on uh, on the solution uh, for uh, for the number of layers um, i'm not sure i'm not sure uh, how many how many layers uh, uh, i i I use. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Maybe uh, you've used part one of the recurrent uh, models, which is a listing, but validation are remiss. It says yeah, here, yeah. remiss. Maybe uh, that is the one that I didn't understand. It is R stands for recurrent. Okay, what is root root mean square uh, error? Errors. Okay, so yeah. it's the error that six thousand nine hundred thirty four. Okay. Yeah. The prediction can vary maybe by this amount. I, I think it yes. means that. Yeah, it's so not the, that good. It, so the mm. deep learning model is worse than the statistical model. Statistical models. Is that a conclusion? Uh, I I I don't conclude that because I I didn't train it well due to the the comp the computation. Power, uh, in, you know, limitation. I use only this, uh, this, this iteration, only five yeah. uh, epochs. Maybe if I increase this, I, uh, I'm sure I can uh, get better uh, output. So I, I can't uh, conclude that from, from this. 
yeah yeah so since we're using deep learning models i mean maybe if that is not too much can you uh, can you tell us why we're using the deep learning model again i mean we're doing the same thing right the same prediction yeah um, we have the reason to have the lst model specifically for this task right yeah yeah that's what a is very that? good question maybe uh uh they uh, they can learn uh, an unstructured uh, data too, so we don't uh, have to do this uh, manual labeling uh, or something. Maybe that's why. Okay, it's still about the performance. Data. Okay. Yeah, it is about the data and also the performance. We will see it later after. We will talk about it maybe after the presentation. But um, my point is, yeah, as you've mentioned, it might be about the epochs or uh, about how we do the modeling, how we train the data. But we expect a better prediction and less error from the, the neural network prediction or from the deep learning. And thank you, Abraham. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. Carol, you can take on, or we can go to the next presenter. So it's Yadasa in the Absara here, one of you guys. Who's going to go next? Yabsara, are you able to, since most of the time you're not? You're not going to be here. Anyone? Yeah, that's all. You can just write on the chat book. books. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's are you there? So I'm saying it is okay for Yapsara. It's not because it's okay since we know she is from, um, I think she, if she, you're in the workplace and if you're not even able to speak or to make a, it's really encouraged to make a present. It's a mess actually, but if you're not even able to make a presentation, it's a very good idea to be here too. Yeah, that's why you can't speak to. Okay, so we only have one presentation from today. Okay, then. If there is something that you can say about the last week's task and all uh, the overall uh, project, you can also write. I did the task in the app as well, which not, which is not good enough. Okay, it's okay. Even if it is not good and it's not finished, it's okay. It's a, it's advisable to make a presentation out of it so that we can hear from you at least the progress. It was a good challenge. Yeah, it is. So maybe we will. Yeah, yeah we we're gonna see. Kerod, I have nothing to say. Maybe you can you can close the session. Oh, maybe. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, that's what I've said. Uh, I've decided to use the list. So, based on the skewness and curiosity analysis. So, our first reason to go to the uh, neural, uh, to the recurrent neural network was the our data, right? So, the, when we have a data that depends on the time analysis, uh, as we have discussed in the session. That depends on time, or that will change depending on our depending on time, which are not constant. We prefer to use, or it's advisable to use, the recurrent neural networks. Okay, and specifically from the recurrent neural network uh, method, we use LS team because of uh, um, in the idea of minimizing the errors from neural neural network, the recurrent neural network that will happen due to um, losing the memories of uh, data that are very far or taking too much or depending too much on the data that are 
that are not that much applicable. So for the data that depends on time, like stock, stock market analysis and things like that, we use neural networks, uh, the, the recurrent neural networks, and also the performance. Uh, as a whole, the performance of neural network is better than uh, the normal regression models and other models. So yeah, that is the reason. Thank you. And Emilia, I have, I think Emilia have something to say. Good morning. Yeah, uh, all right. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, my network was bad and I couldn't join on time. But yeah, uh, I was just inviting you to for community building session. Sorry. Yeah. After this, then I'm going to share it, to share it right away. You can uh, you can go there and and participate. Remember, it's as uh, week six so it's uh we are middle in middle of the training so let's engage there it's just about checking you can maybe give your feedback over six weeks and everything yeah that's just as announcement thank you okay guys so uh, i think that would be it for today but uh, if you want to present, we can have a presentation tomorrow mo morning. Uh, I mean, uh, before we start the morning session, the stand up, we can have the presentation. Maybe if you want to present, you can use that time to present. Um, okay, so that's it for me. Uh, see you on the challenge introduction. <laughs>